Hi, and uh, welcome to the Expromo Academy. Today we're going to talk about how you can mix white and any other color just out of the basis colors red, green and blue. This is actually quite interesting, even though it might seem for some of you straightforward and for other, others of you, it might seem, what? Can you really do this? And yeah, you can. Here you have red LEDs and uh, here I have some green ones. And he actually here, I have some blue ones, but you can't tell because the plastic they're made of is clear. However, the color of the light that comes out of these are blue. And if you mix those together, you can create any color you want, really. Um, by the way, LEDs can become quite small, as you can see here. These are relatively small, but still very big compared to some of the very fine pitch LED screens that we can make out of these. If you take a look at this box that I've made here, you have here an LED currently turned off. And if I slightly turn up this knob, you can see the red color. If I turn it down again and then slightly turn this one, you can see the green color. And then here you have the blue color. Now if I mix, for example, the blue and the red color together, I'll get a new color. This is what, purple magenta or something? You can easily see that the color has changed. And depending on how much I mix in of the different primary colors, I can get any color I want. Now if I turn down the blue one and then slightly turn up the green, you can see that the color now becomes somewhat orange or yellowish. If I now turn down the red here, you can now see it becomes yellowish, greenish. And then if I add blue to that one, like that, and then a little bit more green, and then a little bit more red, then it becomes white. And it's not magic, even though it might look so. Take a look at the color spectrum over here. On that you can see that in the lower left corner you got blue, in the lower right corner you got red, and in the top you got the green primary color. And the triangle clearly shows that any colors within the triangle can be mixed out of the red, green and blue colors. It also clearly shows that all the colors outside of the triangle cannot be mixed by adding red to, for example, the green color or the blue color. To get the best possible image quality, you need to cover as large an area of the color spectrum as possible with the triangle. That's why the red, green and blue LEDs must be as close to the edges of the color spectrum as possible. This yields the largest triangle. This is actually one of the points where Expromo LED screens significantly differentiate themselves from the competition. Obviously, getting LEDs with the right colors is not cheap. And that is also why Expromo LED screens are not the cheapest on the market, but the image quality is unprecedented. What can be quite hard to comprehend is that the colors that we're talking about now is just for one pixel. So if we zoom out, you will actually see that all these colors mixed together in just one pixel is what you're looking at now. The same goes for the next pixel and the pixel after that and the pixels around it until you have all the pixels in the entire screen. If you look at a full HD screen, there's actually around 2 million pixels inside such a screen. That's 6 million LEDs. 2 million red, 2 million green and 2 million blue LEDs. Xpromo features a very large color space. This is due to the fact that we use high quality red, green and blue LEDs in our pixels. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe for all our future episodes and thanks for watching.